Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today I'll be talking about a new mod that I created and released today. This being the Camera Perspective mod for Signalis. This is a mod that will let you, the player, switch your gameplay to either first or third person with the click of a button. This video will start with an explanation of how to install and set up the mod, as well as use it. Then I will cover the future plans of this mod before finishing up with some footage of the mod in its current version. I hope you all enjoy, and let's get right into this. To start, you're going to want to click on the Nexus mod page that is linked in this video's description. It is here that the mod is hosted for easy download. You will notice on this page that a prerequisite for the mod is Melon Loader. You're going to want to install Melon Loader for Signalis. To do this, there is a link on the Nexus page to the Melon Loader install. You're going to want to click on that, and you're going to want to look for the Download Melon Loader Automatic Install. You're going to download that, open this file, and then when it asks you to select a Unity game, you're going to want to click the .exe version of Signalis. This would be the file you usually click on to open the game. This will set up Melon Loader and make the mod installation possible. From here, download the attached Nexus files for the mod, and extract them into the newly created mods folder that the Melon Loader will produce. This mods folder will be located right around where the .exe for Signalis is. And just like that, it's installed. The next time you open your game, the Melon Loader launcher should appear. Give it a few seconds and Signalis will open. If it does not do so quickly, you can click on the code that pops up and hit the Enter key to speed this process up. Once inside Signalis, load up any save file. From here, you can choose either tap F1 for first person or F2 for the dead space third person over the shoulder cam. At the moment, you cannot switch between the two or undo what you have done. However, reloading the scene either by dying, closing the game, going back to the menu, or loading a new scene will put you back to the normal camera and let you choose a different camera. So that is what the mod does. And while I'm here, I should mention some built-in work it does for you to make your experience better. When the mod loads, it will automatically enable tank mode, which will make controlling the new camera angle easy as it's going to set the controls to be based off the character. It will also disable veil. What this does is it makes it so you can actually see enemies in this camera mode, because what tends to happen in both the first and third person is that the enemies kind of look a bit like they're inside a mirror. So by disabling veil, that won't happen. This mod required a lot of learning C Sharp from me, and the good part of several days to produce, so hopefully you all enjoy it. I should also note that this mod was made possible due to the large amount of help from Apmioc and AQ, two other modders in the Signalis community who are amazing people. Making mods like this requires a lot of time and energy from me, so for the moment I'm going to be on a slight break from major projects like this, but I appreciate all the support the community has given me in helping making projects like this possible. With a special thanks to Mr. Skelly, whose membership pays a large part in my ability to do this. So what's next for the mod? Well, I intend on having a couple of updates out in the future regarding various things if this mod proves to be popular. First, I'd like to find a way to make that first person mode a little less nauseating to play as, so I'll be exploring options in that regard. I'd also like for the ability to switch between the camera modes as well as return to the classic mode being available to the player. Also, I'd like, if possible, to have all guns be clearly and cleanly implemented to work in the first person perspective. Finally, I'd like to have the enabling of the mod to be either a setting in the settings menu or an enable akin to how debug works, rather than just being the click of the F1 and F2 buttons, because I kind of feel like it's a little janky having it set to them. My members will have special insight in the progress in this regard, as I'll post on the membership whenever I'm able to accomplish some of these goals, as well as early access footage of future builds for all the future mods I plan on producing. So with that all out of the way, this has been Christopher Beast, and I'm now going to play some footage of the mod. See you all next time. 